Welcome to Friday, day three, off to the track. We have pole vault. Gonna try to get off the ground. Baby, don't you, don't you. Practice was pretty good. I uh, can't complain. Um, got off the ground a couple times. Uh, the last month in pole vault has been pretty rocky, but happy with it. Um, now I'm just gonna pack up, go home. Think we might go to a beach today if the weather holds off. It's not looking the greatest, but it's supposed to get nice in the afternoon, so I'll let you guys know. Hi, ah, we're back. Hello. We have returned. So, I said we were gonna go to the beach and we ended up not going, because we have a meet tomorrow. And we wanna compete well. I ain't trying to go to no beach. Training camps in cool locations are cool, but also hard, because you want to like explore and do touristy things, but you also, like want to focus on the reason that you came so I don't think it would have been an issue if if we went to the beach but at the same time like if I start warming up tomorrow and I'm feeling like a little tired I don't want to be like oh shoot I shouldn't have went to the beach yesterday I want to be like nope I did everything right yesterday so it's gonna be fine you know yeah 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 so we're kind of homebodies but it's okay uh, we have a day off on Sunday so we'll do our fun touristy things that. And by fun touristy things, we just mean anything that doesn't require spending money. So we'll probably just walk to a beach. Explore the streets of Bermuda. So tomorrow there's a small little meet, which is kind of interesting, like in the middle of a training camp, but um, it's a cool opportunity for the Western team um, to get to compete outdoors but it still count towards CIS standards 
Um, and you, you sports. You sports. Yeah, I'm not getting on that train. Um, and also a cool opportunity for the athletes from Bermuda that they're competing against to actually compete against other people. Yeah. Because obviously being on an island in the middle of the middle of the ocean, they don't get that opportunity very often. So it's pretty neat. Um, I am maybe going to run a 60 and triple jump from 13 strides. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing where I'm at. I'm doing, I don't know the order yet, but I'm going to do hurdles, 60 hurdles, um, high jump, and a 300. So I'm hoping the 300s after both of them. So it's kind of like training for like that first day of the decathlon. They're running all like indoor um, distances. Lengths. Yeah. Yeah, distances. So like 60s, uh, 300s. Um, I think that's really it. I don't know if they're running a six. A thousand, a six hundred. It's gonna be pretty interesting, like running a 60 outdoors. Yeah. Do you think they're gonna go from the start line to middle or middle to finish? Ooh, I never thought of that. Probably middle to finish. It's gonna be weird. Yeah, it's gonna be super weird. Okay, we need to play some Yahtzee because we've only played like once so far today. So kind of, you know. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Oh, this is the end of the vlog. I thought this was the beginning of a new one. No. Oh, you didn't? Did you talk about your practice today? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for watching. This is the end. This is in fact the end. Thanks for watching. <laughs> like it. Subscribe. Subscribe. It's the left. Yeah. Subscribe. Um, we're getting a little decent following. We're gonna look into putting together a giveaway. Um, we just need to figure out how to like do it on the computer, like of how to enter. Also, a Cribs video is coming. We've just been insanely busy, but we promise, probably, definitely within the next month. In the next couple weeks. Before we sell the house to buy another one, we'll You'll do it. You'll see it, yeah. Bye. Then I would cry.